After nine long months, the NMSU men's basketball team returned to the Pan Am Center tonight. A completely new look for the Aggies, new players, new head coach. The Aggies turning the page after last season came to an abrupt end due to allegations of hazing and sexual assault within the program. But Jason Hooten and the Aggies turning that page, playing host to the Lobos from Sul Ross State. Men's basketball back at the Pan Am in the first half here. NMSU's Christian Cook cooking up the first points at home for the Aggies, drains the tray. Sul Ross, though, to their credit, they were hanging tough with the Aggies in the first half. Gabe Sanchez going to hit the trifecta. Lobo's up two at this point. Then later in the first, Aggies up by just one point. Monzi Jackson drains the three. And MSU up 43 to 35 at the half. Then in the second half, Aggies going to start to pull away in this one. Jordan Rawls driving. He'll get that finger roll to go. That works to perfection. And MSU up 10. Then check out the defense by the Aggies. That shot rejected. Aggies in transition, and it's Robert Carpenter from the corner for three. Perfecto. Aggies up 18. Jason Hooten gets his first win as NMSU's head coach tonight. Final score, 84 to 49. Now, we did have some post-game reaction from Coach Hooten. Unfortunately, the audio is unairable right now. We had some technical difficulties with that, but Hooten, of course, very excited with his team's performance tonight. Still says they do have some things to work on, but there was a good crowd on hand for tonight's home opener. Aggie Nation was ready to welcome back their Aggies. Here's ABC 7's Jason McNabb with this story. No one seems more excited than the fans here Wednesday night to see the NMSU Aggies' first home game since February. NMSU's first home game of the season brought Aggie Nation into the Pan Am Center, and this team has a very different look than it did last year. Um, I'm excited to see what they've done with the program, um, and just to be here, feel all the energy. I'm excited. Yeah, it's cool to be a student and to represent our team. This is also the first game played here in Las Cruces under new head coach Jason Hooten, who took over the program back in March. So, what did the fans think of Hooten so far? We'll see, yeah, I guess we'll see this game does. will tell. <laughs> this game will tell how he does, but I think, I think he'll do good. Yeah. I think he'll be good. I think we'll be all right. Totally different culture out there, new players, new atmosphere. This fan I spoke to also attended the school of the Aggies opponent, Sol Ross, which gives him a unique opportunity. Uh, I used to be a student over there for about three years, and, and I transferred here, so now I can see both. Uh, schools that I went to, so it's kind of exciting for me. And Aggie Nation should be pretty happy about Wednesday night's outcome. Now, if you missed tonight's game, you still have a chance to catch them at home next Tuesday, November 14th, against Western New Mexico. For now, reporting from the Pan American Center with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jason McNabb, ABC7. But first up, the Aggies are at UC Irvine on Saturday. As for the UTEP Miners, a great pickup today for head coach Joel Golding on this early signing day period. The Miners have landed a three-star recruit from Canyon Randall High School in Amarillo. K.J. Thomas is the fourth-ranked point guard in the state of Texas, the 26th-ranked player in the entire state. Now, last season as a junior, he led his team to the Class 4A Final Four, averages 23 points a game. Again, a solid pickup for the Miners will be coming in next season.